kind of windy now. My phone's shaking. And I got plenty of time now. I got like 40 minutes. I deleted a whole bunch of stuff off my phone. And it is... 2 o'clock. really sucks when you're homeless man <laughs> this is what you gotta do before I was homeless I would never talk to somebody that was homeless that was like the craziest thing ever right being like a kid and like hearing that shit cause like I don't know but when shit goes crazy and or whenever if you go crazy and your life you go out of control like I did anyways however you ended up homeless you're gonna have to deal with it and just I don't know because I was asking for a place to stay when I was like from one of my aunts that I fucking hate and uh, Anyways, I was like, can I stay? She's like, how bad? No, no, you can't stay here. How bad? She's like, I'd have to wake wake Bill up, one of, her husband. And I'm like, oh my God. She's like, do you know how mad he'd be? She's like, how bad do you think being homeless is here? You're just going to be outside. She's like, go to, the, go to the homeless shelter. Hung the phone up. I was like, wow. And then that, like that right there itself... was pretty annoying, upsetting, and irritating. And that was like the first night I was homeless. So like, I'm homeless because because I called the cops on my ex's dad because he pushed me down the front their stairs at the front of their house because he was telling me to leave. And I was like, why? And they pushed me, so I called the cops. The cops came, there was all this drama. They ended up getting mad at me because it's his property and like his family and stuff like that. And so my grandparents were called because they're like, whose car is that? I was like, it's my grandparents. They called to see if they let me like borrow the car, which they did. And they told me that they didn't want me, want me driving the car anymore. And that I wasn't allowed to go back to their house because I was staying with my grandparents at the time. And I had just recently quit or put my two weeks in at my last job, which was at the nursery. Working at a nursery as a tractor operator. That was cool. And safety. And shipping and receiving. That was the department I worked in. But anyways. I even had my own room. And then I left and moved in with my cousin. That didn't work out. Went to my grandparents. And then got pushed down at my ex's house. And uh, since that point, I've been homeless. Since the cops, like, told me to get out of there. They trespassed past me from her house. And then they got the protective order, which I had to go to court for. And that's why I can't have third-party contact. And... Um, yeah, that's over with. That was hard to deal with at first, but now I can, like, talk about it and come to terms with it. And, I don't know, it was pretty rough for a while, just, like, in a really depressive, angry cycle at the homeless shelter. Like, no plans, like, pretty much no future or anything, no options. But then I started doing better and found that there are... You know, resources out there, you just have to go go get them and want to do things and, you know, people in the community will help you out. So that's nice. And I'm getting a job. So that's going to make me feel better. I got to quit smoking so I can drive trucks. I got to go to school. 
But anyways. I met a whole bunch of people, I miss some of the people, but everyone's got a life to live and things to do, and I don't know. I'm hanging out with the right people, making all the right choices. It's too bad that they're remodeling and demolishing, not remodeling, demolishing and rebuilding. Because I'm going to be out of that place for however long. I, I'd, I think I'd like to go back when they rebuild it and at least check it out. But I might stay there instead of renting or who knows. I don't know. I might not do that. It would just be to save money. I don't know. But that's why I'm homeless, because all that drama, and I went to court, that was terrible, and like, that's when I started up my YouTube channel, was like, after that, like, okay, so wait, let me go back to when I first got kicked out of the car, so I didn't know what to do, I was angry and upset, and just like, didn't know what to do, I was homeless, calling everybody, everyone was ignoring me, didn't know what to do. And um, I went to like a restaurant, a Mexican restaurant, chilled there for a while, walked around, just kind of like went into stores, didn't know where to go. It was getting uh, like winter time and it was getting dark so it was cold um, or I don't think I, I I didn't I don't I didn't know I had court yet they didn't they had I don't think they decided yet so anyways it was uh, nighttime and I ended up going to a 7-eleven sleeping out there for a bit going inside getting some pizza and one of the guys let me sleep in his, his car for a few hours until the shift was over. He took me back to his place that he was staying at. Let me He didn't take me inside. I sat in the car. He gave me a, a portable charger and uh, took me to McDonald's because that's where I asked him to take me. And... I slept at McDonald's for a while, then I ordered like a fry or something, like a drink, so they wouldn't kick me out when they woke me up, and... I, I ended up calling an old family friend, who's not really much of a family friend anymore, but he's cool with me, I guess. Like him and my parents, they don't talk. But he let me stay there for a few months and then shit started going bad and I had core and it was winter time. I ran out of money because I was buying food and a whole bunch of like weed and I don't know. I was in a really bad depressive, you know, in state of mind and I thought going to the shelter would be good for me just being around people and so... One day I went in there and I was sick like not being able to use the bathroom or like have a shower every day when I needed it. Like here I got to deal with a whole bunch of people and at first it was terrible, fucking terrible. Nobody gave a fuck. But now things are way better. But the things are way better now. I wish my old footage was here so you could have seen it, but, I don't know. When I was at the clubhouse before I moved to the shelter, I bought a GoPro and started my YouTube channel there and started doing shit like that. I was doing online chatting through Monkey, this uh, like virtual chatting app on my phone. 
and doing like food reviews. I was going out to restaurants and ordering ordering DoorDash and like takeout and doing food reviews. And I was doing just like knife reviews and like product reviews and stuff like that and just vlogs, just talking about what was going on. Because I was like, oh, I got court coming up in a few weeks and I'm like, oh, no, now I'm doing all this and my feelings and ideas and I messed up a couple job interviews and yeah, I was, I needed to go. So that's why I went to the shelter and then there was just a whole bunch of drama at the shelter with people and just being nasty and stealing things and trying to start fights and get people kicked out and just drama. Like high school with like the worst people but they're adults. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know it was pretty it was kind of scary at first but you learn a lot you learn a lot and it's been pretty good but when I when I talk to my grandma like they really have no idea what I've gone through or what all I've done and learned and she was like pretty much calling me a liar and was mad at me yesterday when I didn't get a job or go to school or quit smoking because she was like she could tell Which I guess she could see as a lie, but I ain't lying. She just doesn't understand, which is fine. I'm just glad she's talking to me and she's willing to help me out a little bit. And... YouTube has really helped me out emotionally. Um... Just like getting out and doing things, talking, even if it is just a few views, it's fun. It's something good to do. Uh, I recommend it to everybody because why not? Like you can even make money off of it if you do good. You don't have to do much to get views. Shorts are really easy to get views off of. Like I, I found a lost dog at the park on my last channel and it got like 9.1 thousand views overnight. Like, they just blow up. Or, like, one video... You never know what's going to do good. Like, one video won't have views, and then it'll be your most viewed. And then, like, another video will get a whole bunch of views. And then, like, that'll be your uh, most viewed, and then, like, that one will come back later. I, you know, it's just... You never know what's going to happen. It's fun. If you get haters, it is what it is. It's really hard putting yourself online, though. And you want to be careful with your personal information and, like, your image, what you want to be. Because you can choose. You can be a character or you can be straight up. And you could have multiple channels and it's, it's just a learning process and, like, I don't know. You don't have to do anything. You can try and set a schedule for yourself. Or, you know, it's just, it's your life. It's up to you. And that's what's cool about it. And I'd really like to get accepted so I could get my creator tab and, like, all, all my membership stuff back. and Because I'd like to be able to make money on YouTube and not have my channel terminated. And I won't upload any more smoking videos or anything like that. Because I'm over that. I don't want to be known as that. And so, again, I'm sorry. Please don't take my channel down. Please. I want to be a YouTuber. I want a play button. If I could get a play button one day, that'd be like a goal. Like I saw Alex or whatever, the trucking guy. I saw him do uh, like a news uh, channel interview. So I was like, yo, he's a YouTuber. He's on the news. Imagine that. And he does trucking. I want to do trucking. And I could do YouTube. Watch. I, I could be just like that guy. And like come back, come back to my own place, play games, stream, you know, do whatever I want. Finally get back, like buy, buy that truck and buy a boat and go fishing or you know like a kayak or something like get my old car back or live in my car or be at the homeless shelter or just like i just gotta work and so i'm getting this job and so i don't know things are turning out to be good i'm getting positive again i was just really really depressed and the winter time didn't help and all the wintertime clothes, like all the all the big puffy jackets and just like all the boots and pants and gloves and masks and attitude and everyone's a different everyone's different vibe and attitude's different now and I don't know.
Like, I got my hair cut. I didn't have my hair cut for the longest time. I've only had one haircut since I've been here. And, uh... What I usually get, half-inch buzz cut. It's grown out a little bit now. And, uh... 20 bucks, which is a lot for me right now. But it was worth it. My hair was way too long. And... I don't know. I'm grateful for everything I've been given and got since I've been here. All the meals, showers, nights they've let me stay. Chilling in the day room, sleeping, or sitting outside, you know, meals. It's all, it's, it's awesome. You know, not all the meals are great, but it, it's awesome. Like, if I didn't have this, I'd be like... in the streets <laughs> just pro I probably would have gotten a job a lot sooner but I would I'd probably be begging or stealing shit all the time just to eat it's hard living with a whole bunch of people and all the, uh, I don't know, different age types and different backgrounds. It's interesting. But we all get along and we can all be ourselves around each other for the most part. And all the churches that do free lunch, that's really nice. And then I got an EBT card. I learned how the bus buses work. I got insurance again. And I met a whole bunch of people and I started going to church and I found out where I'm at with, you know, myself and I got control of like my feelings and my thoughts again and I got a plan going and Oh yeah, and there's this this place called BMAC, Blue Mountain Action Council. The people there are pretty cool. They 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 said they'd pay for me to go to school, the community college, to get a class A CDL license. And they've given me like clothes and like stuff like that and like they've just helped me out and uh, they gave me a down payment on the clubhouse I was staying in so I could legally live there, so that was cool. And I don't know. Living here, I had I had drama with uh, the guy in charge here. I had a video of everyone, like a couple people, freaking out, me defending myself and standing up for myself because they were treating me like a child. And they want they they like try to like gr like groom you and like make you out to be a certain way like you're a bad guy piece of shit but like he's turning you around and like bringing you to church and they're feeding you and all this like I don't know they're trying to like grow their followers or whatever and so anyways he was telling me I can't record here he's gonna call the cops trying to control me like saying I'm out of control and like this is me trying to gain control and all this stuff and like you know I'm risking people's lives by recording them here and I'm like no no if someone's life's at risk tell me about it and I won't record them or like we, we ended up working it out and I was like anyways I just won't record there anymore that's what I signed a paper agreeing to that but like for like a month or two I wasn't allowed to like do anything and I started doing it again and then he pulled up my videos and like we had to talk about it and that's when I signed the paper but yep there's a freak out there and I've been threatened since, since I've been here there's I've almost been in a couple fights I've been pushed I've had my stuff stolen I'm pretty sure like I don't People have just messed with all my... Like, you, your mind just gets going. 
and I don't know. I was just a little paranoid in the beginning, and then I started sleeping like a baby, which was bad. Like, I was like, whoa, this is kind of scary, but like, no, I sleep just fine. It doesn't bother me. I'm used to the schedule. And then I realized I was like in, in a part of like a schedule and like a flow, and then like I got myself like out of the routine or whatever, so like, I don't know. Because when you don't have a plan and you're just living there, it's tough. It's rough. But things are getting better. Like, look at me now. Uh, I just got a reminder about my interview. But, like, look at me now. It's springtime. My birthday's in a couple months. I'm laying down in the shade. I'm not down in the day room next to the fucking ugliest carpet, piss stain, fucking chairs and couch and uh TV they don't turn on till four o'clock. Yeah, they used to treat us shit and like fucking make us look bad and Piss this off. There was a lot of fucking drama at first. A lot of the rules changed, but they're pretty cool now. But I could see that they want to go back to their old ways. Like, people quit. Like, there's a lot of drama since I've been here. But the graduation was cool, I will admit. The graduation ceremony was cool for the guys in the rebuilder program. Um. A lot of people have been against me. I've gotten a lot of hate, a lot of threats. It's insane. Real life. But I, I'm cool with it. I keep cool for the most part. And I'm wondering where Caden's at. Like, I hope he's not out fucking doing drugs like I hear he was. I hope he's at the shelter, the other one, and he needs to get a job and get going, just like I do. But yeah, it sucked for a while. I'm ready to get all my stuff back and just be able to sit in my own place and take off on the weekend and go do what I want to do or chill and stream or vlog or that's what I want to do. Yeah, that's the lifestyle I want to live. I want to be a content creator, vlog, streamer, truck driver. That's what I want to do. And even though it seems really stressful and dangerous and I feel like the amount of money I could make is going to mess up my insurance so I gotta be careful but it'll it'll open up so much more opportunity for me it's worth it or else I'll just be homeless and I don't want to be homeless this winter again no I want to be in a my own place <laughs> by this winter that's a goal there we go it's another goal. And which is should be should be able to should be able to happen. Um It took a long time for me to like do better. I've been here for quite a quite a bit. Like it's about to be like April. 
I've been there since like December or whatever. January ish. About four months. Three or four months ish. Oh well, it's a chapter. It was rough. But I've learned my lesson. Which is pretty much just stay calm. <laughs> and don't piss off the people that are letting you live with them. And learn the law, because if you don't, people will just say things and you'll believe it and they'll screw you over. So learn the law. I don't know, I'd like to fix my car up, my old one, go back to where I crashed and show you around and go back up the mountain. For the longest time, I didn't want to get my guns back because I got a rifle and a shotgun, but they probably won't ever give those to me now. So if I can, I'd like to go get my own because I'd like to go back into hunting and fishing and just all that and just to have them because it's my right. And I've always wanted them. And there's online gunsmithing classes that also look cool, but that's not where the money's at. The money's in truck driving. That would just be like a passion later on down the road if I felt like it. I don't know. There's also like this wilderness medical and like hiking training classes that they do around a couple states around me and in mine that I was looking at on Facebook that looked cool, that just like for fun. So now I need to I need to increase my plan though. So I'm like, okay, yeah, get a job, go to school, get an apartment, then what? Get my stuff, fix my car. And once I got everything situated, just keep keep saving my money. And for the longest time, I didn't want to date, but I guess it's what I should try doing because I'd just be wasting more time if I didn't. Because it's been like, what, almost three years since I've been with my ex. I was waiting for like two, it's almost been like two and a half years, okay. And... I don't know. I thought she was going to be the one, but no, I guess not. So, if I get on my feet... Things should be looking good. My last job was pretty good. Now I'll be a dishwasher. My last job, I was just like a general laborer at first, but then I worked up to tractor driver and safety of the shipping department. And I was helping out other departments, and I was running my own place. I bought an e-bike, I bought a PS5, I bought a computer, I bought all these clothes for the summer. And then I fucked it up because I was angry and like my neighbor, we got into a fight. My room, my, my roommates, and my co workers, everyone was like, all of this drama, drama, drama. My family, my ex I was dealing with. So I left and went to my cousin's house. More, more drama and drugs. So I left there. More drama, drama, drama. And I'm homeless. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Just a whole bunch of fucked shit, right? So I just want to get my PS5 back, start streaming, go to the lake, go to the river, go to the mountains, go to school, enjoy being young. Because I had like terrible thoughts for the longest time and I'm ready to do better and feel good. I want to feel good. I want to get my passport. I want to travel. That was a big deal because I thought I was going to go to war. Go to Ukraine. I want to travel. Yeah. I got a lot of learning I need to do. I need to learn the laws. I need to buy a few, a few things. I could use a camping stove. That's what I could use. But the buses don't run today. So maybe I go tomorrow. I get camping stoves. Sweaters and stuff. Like that. Cascade. This chick had dinner 
yesterday. Maybe it was breakfast this morning. <laughs> Brought in chicks, baby chicks, in a box. You go buy them. They put them in like a like a McDonald's box, pretty much. Happy Meal box. <laughs> and like, here you go. Here's your chickens. She brings them in and she's like putting them on her shoulders and eating with them. Um, you just see all the shit. Uh, and now I know like most of the homeless people in town. At first, I didn't even want to be known as homeless. Like, they give you this bag they give everyone. It's a blue bag. Turned it inside out. But it was still a blue bag, right? But it didn't have, like, the letters on it. But now I'm posting it online. And, like, I didn't even like eating at free lunches, but then I was hungry. So, free lunch it is. Then I got the EBT card. That's pretty sick. Not me in the job, which is even better. So, I'll get back from the work and drama bullshit. Yeah, it did better, yeah. It's pretty chilly. I should find a better spot. Like right over next to me looks a little better out of the way. I might try that. some clothes. I might need to go get some like black pants or some new black shoes that are like non-slick. And I don't know, they'll probably get me a shirt. I might need to go get a hat or something. Because, uh, I don't know, this one matches my jacket and Applebee's, I think they were like black in there. I'll be dishwashing, it won't matter. Something to keep like the sweat off my face, you know? And I've done dishwashing before. It is what it is. Should have taken my last jobs. It's alright. I want to get, I want to collect a whole bunch of board games too, like I saw those at Walmart, like just a whole bunch of new board games I want to play, if I need people to play them with, like fuck. Which I'm at the perfect place to do it, I got a couple, like I got Uno, and I got the Hot Ones, and I got Cards Against Humanity, and I got playing cards, and I don't know. But there's actual board games that I want to get that look like fun. I'd like to get a little cart. They have like these fold up carts that look nice that I want to get. So I could haul my stuff around or go get groceries or some shit like that. But that's why I got this backpack and like the bike and whatever. And, like I've been, I usually walk. Like after I knock myself out on my e-bike, I've been walking around. I went and got a helmet. And, uh, I don't know. <sighs> I think that's the way it goes. Nobody really thinks they're going to be homeless until they're homeless. And, like, man, mine was fucking, mine was rough for me. It was rough. I still got to rebuild shit with my family. I didn't think I was going to talk to them or want to talk to them for the longest time. And it's just going to be like, yo, what's up? This is what happened. Good seeing you. See you later. Like, <laughs> sorry about all the bullshit. And I owe them some money because I owe them some money. And Me and my parents have been friends forever. Pretty much about the house that they're staying in, and like, just all the drama between our family. Just drama, drama, drama.
Anyways, I'm just gonna chill out here for a few more hours and uh, think about things. Maybe I'll take a nap. If you've watched this video or have gotten this far, thank you so much. Um, please leave a like, share, and subscribe, or a comment. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get back to you, or leave a like. And yeah, thank you for watching. My name's Coyote, and that's it.